hello guys welcome to my tutorial on google apps google apps basically will be helpful for you to do user management and uh, to maintain uh, different uh, applications and happenings of your organization uh, it's a cloud based uh, platform uh, which will be providing you all types of uh, google apps uh, and uh, services so i think uh, you will be getting most out of it uh, so let's see how you can register uh, at first through google apps uh, google apps for work to be precise because google apps uh, may range uh, from gmail drive uh, and other services which google provides uh, in a free version also google apps for work uh, is a paid uh, version in which uh, you will be uh, having customized uh, domain mail addresses uh, like uh, uh, I'll show you uh, in this tutorial. Let's go ahead. So this is the page where you can sign up uh, with Google Apps for Work. You can see you can go to this link when you search in Google. You will get uh, this link is there to register in Google Apps for Work. So here uh, it basically involves uh, three steps: one, two, and three. You can see uh, here you have to enter your first name, last name, and other details. I'll enter some dummy entries here for you. So you can enter any current email addresses that is your company email address or any other email addresses which you have. Then you can define your number of employees, uh, the country and uh, phone number and other details which it ask, uh, it is asking when you go to the next step uh, then you need to add a domain so basically as you are uh, registering this for your company you need to add your company domain here as the primary domain suppose uh, you are setting up a new company and uh, you do not have a domain yet then you can purchase the domain from any domain registers like godaddy or uh, any other domain registers you find on the internet uh, so you can buy the new domain from here which uh, as it's mentioned its starting cost is eight dollar a year and uh, automatic email setup is included uh, but you can also uh, include a domain which you have already purchased so most of the times you must have purchased a domain already because your company may be existing from before uh, on any other platforms or you may be trying to migrate to google apps due to the innumerable uh, services that you get at google apps so let me add a domain here i'll add a subdomain here basically i'll go over uh, to uh, tell you what a subdomain is but as of now i'm adding a domain so now at the third step you have to create your username so you get a customized username it, it will not be at that gmail.com in the f as in the free version it will be uh, i'll give anything you can give your name at the red this domain that is your domain you can create password and other details and when you finally enter the captcha and uh, agree to the google apps agreement then you can accept and sign up so this will be the final step after registering here you will be redirected to this page so i already registered a domain for be from before to let you know what are the steps so <coughs> when you already registered here in this module uh, it uh, it will be redirected to a page like this where uh, you will see you have already set up a business account so this will be ticked uh, it is a three step process and uh, then you can add people to your google apps account add people as in add users to the google apps account or uh, your employees depending upon uh, your organizational size you can also skip this step and uh, you can uh, add users later as you will see in my upcoming tutorials add sing individual users or add users in bulk then we go to the next step uh, you can choose i added all the users so in the third step uh, verify your domain and set up email uh, you'll see it's a very brief and detailed procedure which will uh, guide you on how to add your domain uh, verification string to the domain register 
you can uh, as i added the domain uh, verification string already here so this domain is already verified you can see the various options like uh, uh, it will looks like your domain is hosted with godaddy open the godaddy website and uh, in a new tab and login so i have already successfully logged in it's asking me to go to the control panel of the domain i have opened the control panel now this is the verification string which you need to add as a txt record here which i already added you can add a record here by clicking on add record option you choose which type of record it is so it is txt record you put the value uh, this value here and you can choose detail 1r I'm not adding because I added it already here then I'll click on I added the txt verification save the txt record and verify I saved the txt go to the control panel of your domain I have opened now this is another important step uh, as you have already verified your domain you need to set up email so for setting up email you need to add some records which are known as MX records or mail exchange records so these MX records are the ones which will allow your domain through to pass through Google servers so these are the uh, MX records of Google which you need to add here see I already added mail exchanger records these are the five types of records uh, which is available which will be shown by Google uh, you need to add by adding a record here you choose mail exchanger and you add priority is uh, something uh, which I'll tell you so if you define uh, priority as one then when a mail uh, comes to google it will first pass through this uh, server if it is uh, failing th to pass through this server then it will choose the next priority that is five you ha uh, we have defined uh, two servers in the same priority so it will check for these servers and at the last uh, the priority which is defined as 10 it will check for them so basically you can define it as 1 2 3 4 5 2 but uh, generally it's defined in this way 1 5 5 and 10 10 this is the priority which has been given by google already so you will not find any difficulty in defining it here once you set up your mail exchange records you would be able to uh, your users in google apps will be able to email I created the new MX records I saved the MX records now you can verify now you should click on verify domain and set up email so this will set uh, take some time after that uh, you will see that your domain is already verified your mail is already verified and you are yeah, and uh, uh, you are ready to go and use google apps so all the best in registering and uh, performing these steps to add your business or domain into google apps thank you watch my next tutorials for uh, details on other google services settings and configurations uh, that you need to do in google apps